in the Institut Gustave Rossi in Villegeuf in France. And as I said before, he will present a completely different type of study. The previous one was a randomized three-arm clinical trial. This is now a single arm, phase one, two, uh, first in men uh, trial. And these kind of trials are among the trials that we are really happy to have here in more and more now in the ESMO Congress, because this is hope for the future of in this new generation of uh, early clinical trials in which specific and selective new molecular target agents are tested in selected patient populations. And the patient population, as I said before, is uh, what is called technically progressive castration-resistant prostate cancer. That means um, prostate cancer in which hormone therapy that was previously working has now failed. Please, Christophe. Thank you. So I'm very pleased on behalf of my co-workers to present preliminary results of our first in human phase one, two trial, Alders trial. So as you know, prostate cancer is one of the most common cancer in our Western countries. And as we said before, in advanced prostate cancer, the disease is sensitive to androgen deprivation, which is called castration. However, in patients, most of our patients progress despite this treatment. And in the last decade, several studies shown that even in this castration resistant prostate cancer disease, the androgen pathway is important. So as you know, different compounds were developed in the last five years, like Abiraterone or MDV3100. And the, our compound, the ODM201, is a new generation of androgen receptor antagonist. So this is the, a very early phase one, two trial. We enroll patients with metastatic advanced castration resistant prostate cancer. The patient could have or not be treated with chemotherapy. And we test different dose level of this drug like in phase one. So there are two main key results. The first one, in the table two, we shown that our compound is very well tolerated. We do not have severe toxicity. The main side effects are asthenia, but very moderate, and diarrhea. And the second point, so this is very early results because we enrolled 21 patients at the moment in the phase one. They are a very impressive uh, anti-tumor activity, uh, in particular in PCR decline, because nearly 90% of our patients enrolled in this trial have a PCR decrease more than 50%. So this is very preliminary results, but clearly it's very impressive uh, compared to other compounds. And um, this uh, uh, anti-tumor activity is seen in patients pre-treated by chemo, but also in chemo-naive patients. So basically, this is a uniquely designed androgen receptor antagonist, and this is very well tolerated, like other compounds, like MDV3100 or abiraterone. This is pills, uh, this is not infusion uh, drugs. We do not do, uh, we don't treat patients with corticosteroid, and preliminary anti-tumor activity was quite impressive because the 50% PSA decline was observed in 90% patients. Uh, so a large phase two now is ongoing. It starts this summer, and we hope to confirm these preliminary results. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christopher. And this is very important because this is just early clinical trial of a very promising new anti-hormonal agent in uh, uh, prostate cancer in a patient population that was basically treated with the most of all available uh, treatments. And these data usually are not seen in early clinical trials with the kind of clinical benefit and clinical response that has been presented. Of course, this is just the beginning of it, but we hope that Christoph, two years from now in Madrid, will present uh, in the ESMO Congress we will have in 2014 the final data of this uh, uh, compound. So this is a promise.